was the bad guys Russell is back again with another video and I know it's been a while since I uploaded but <coughs> but today is the 25th of February as I will show you all I don't know if you all can see that but today is the 25th of February Today is the 25th of February and I've decided, it's a Tuesday and I've decided that today I'm going to start monk mode and uh, to give some perspective as to what monk mode is I'll, I'll, I'll link a certain guy called Tashan's Adventure, that's his YouTube channel name, I'm, I'm pretty sure his name is Tashan and what I'm gonna do is I'll link his channel below and I'll basically be following a lot of the stuff he's doing but I'll be adding some stuff and I'll be removing a few stuff, you get me? So the things I'll be taking away from his side of it, which I believe are the core principles behind his um, monk mode thing, is I'm gonna be detoxing from social media. As such, I've just uninstalled Twitter do you want to uninstall this app and it's twitter i'm gonna press ok i'm gonna tell you all the social medias i'm uninstalling so i'm uninstalling twitter and you might ask why not they, why why don't i have the discipline just to not use them and i don't think i've developed the discipline like i've turned off notifications but i still check twitter not as often might, might i say to be fair but I still check Twitter every now and then and it's, it, and honestly it's a bit more of a you get more gratification when you check it less because you get that much more notifications to check at once when you check each and every notification you're just checking one notification one notification but you see when you don't have notifications and like the end of the day you made some tweets in the morning at the end of your day you check and you see all of the interactions where you had and it's a burst of dopamine i guess basically but this the, the, the dopamine fast is what is what's really important about this monk mode thing and it's to create some discipline within myself and that's what this whole channel is about my rastafarian journey and i think a big a big thing what a lot of rastas probably don't even um take away from the rasta um liberty is discipline and discipline in terms of like yeah, we all know rastas eat well they don't eat salt they, they 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 um they don't eat meat and just just that alone in itself is a discipline but one thing that rastas do what i found myself getting very indisciplined with is smoking with that in mind with that in mind part of this dopamine fast is no vices that means no alcohol no cigarettes no, no weed and I won't even get into anything else that's out, that, that's out there I haven't tried anything else other than those but whatever the hell else is out there I won't be trying any of those no 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 dopamine rush and that's just the first that's that to me the stop smoking weed is going to be the hardest part of this challenge however however I think it's also going to be the most beneficial part because let's be honest smoking takes a lot of time and a lot of money and when you replace those time, all that time and you save all that money and put them towards more constructive things you increase your productivity by quite a bit it doesn't matter how productive of a stoner you are the rolling while you roll while you grind while you're looking for the plug while you while you while even if you even if you try to smoke and study it doesn't matter how you look at it it's time and money what could have been put towards something more constructive so it doesn't matter what you want to say about it if you're smoking every day you have a problem and that's just the facts now the next social media i'll, I'll be uninstalling I'll, I'll, i won't be uninstalling instagram and the reasoning behind that is because i need to promote um my my, my video itself so as you can see here i have uh, or i won't show you but i have four i have like i have like four instagram accounts and 
what I'll do, what I'll be doing, I'll only be using RAS Lunacy. That is R A S L U N A C Y, RAS Lunacy. That's the only one I'll be using. And my Finsta, but I won't tell y'all what my Finsta are because I don't want any randoms following me. So that's Instagram. And I have SoundCloud here. I'll, I'll use SoundCloud. That's fine. Trilla. I'll use Trilla. That's fine. Facebook. I don't use Facebook anyways, regardless. Twitch. Twitch is actually a really big distraction for me. And well, I'm going to uninstall it too. So that's Twitch. Uninstalled. I'll be keeping Snapchat. I have too many streaks. I'm sorry. I don't care. But yeah. But my biggest and main distraction now youtube.com how do i plan to limit youtube it's hard to say because what tashan does in his videos he leaves he leaves all of his video watching for the end of the day and it's a certain amount of videos but what i think i'll do i think what i'll do i'll probably put like an hour before my bed where I can get in all of anything any anything I'd really like to do. So if I want to use that hour to for example um play a game I can. If I want to use that hour to watch a movie well obviously a movie is longer than an hour so I'd get a loose sleep on a day like that. If I want to use it to watch YouTube, if I wanted to if I want to watch it whatever I want to do with that hour, that's what I'll leave that hour up in the air for in terms of procrastination and stuff. Um, and that's with regards to YouTube and probably Netflix too. So I'll I'll only use, so what I I'll only watch on educational videos that hour before my bedtime is what I'm trying to say. So let's say I have a series to watch, I'll just watch one episode a day of that series until I get it done. And I think what that's going to do when you have delayed gratification like that you actually get more dopa a more dopamine like response if you didn't know. If you keep watching Netflix episodes back to back to back to back to back, instead of letting the anticipation build up, you'll have less of a dopamine pass when things happen in that series. You get me? So it's all delayed gratification will always supersede instant gratification and that's what I think all of this semen retention and and, and, and and no smoke and no fab and all of these things i think that's what it comes down to um just delayed gratification making sure you're not over exerting the dopamine levels in your, in your in your brain like just keep filling them with things to double tap and to scroll and to swipe and it's just dopamine rush after dopamine rush after dopamine rush and we don't have a time to we don't find time like it, it, it comes to a point where a lot of people don't think school is for them but it's just because they're so used to having dopamine in their face and just having fun things in front of them all the time right when they need it instantly it becomes boring to go to school and they do and kids nowadays they don't know how to deal with boredom as per se and this goes into the next part of my monk mode that i'll be doing i'll be meditating every single day every single day for at least the next week so this whole monk mode thing i'm gonna my minimum is seven days but i i i i intend to go beyond such such a time frame i i, I hope to go i hope to maybe not keep all of these things throughout my life but some things i'm hoping to keep keep consistent with so I plan to start meditating more. I plan to start exercising more. I plan to start eating better. And I've, I've realized that I'm the kind of person where I kind of taught myself out of things a lot. So, for example, I've, the only way... I can't, I'm the kind of person I take things to the extreme. So, what happens is if I start exercising on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll be consistent for maybe a month, two months, three months. But once I stop, I, I, once I stop, once I miss a day, I'm out of it. Once I start missing days, I'm, 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 it's so difficult for me. And it's the same thing, like, if, I, if, I, if I'm studying every day, then every day I'll be able to kick the books back to back to back. 
But once I stop studying and I start replacing the study time I would have with a game, for example, then every day I'll be doing the game. So the kind of person I am, I kind of take things to the extreme. And with that in mind, I'm taking, that's the reason why I've decided to say I'm not doing no fap, I'm not doing semen retention, I'm doing monk mode because that shit supersedes everything and I think just going to that extreme may help me stay consistent with all the extremities and I used to tell myself that because I, I tried taking things out I just jump in the deep end and try to survive that's why I haven't been consistent with these things because a lot of these things I've tried already I've, I've gone over 30 days on no fab I've done no smoke for over two weeks well for two weeks i've done i've done them all but i haven't remained consistent and this is what this video is for to help me remain consistent now i've deleted all the social medias i need to delete so the next thing i'll be deleting and this is gonna hurt me to my heart is call of duty mobile if you haven't tried call of duty mobile yet this is not a shameless plug the game's actually good and i don't just mean the multiplayer and the zombies mode which in their own right are good I also mean the Battle Royale. I, I'm, I'm fully a Call of Duty Battle Royale fan over PUBG. PUBG is more camp. PUBG to me, the times I've played PUBG, and I haven't played PUBG at a competitive level to understand if people rush at a higher level, but the PUBG I played, there was way too much camping, way too much killing from far, way too much trying to kill from far, and blah blah blah, where, where Call of Duty, you still get the Call of Duty multiplayer feel out of it with fast-paced action, naturally it's a battle royale, so there are quiet moments in the game when people are trying to get to the zone, people are trying to do certain things, but even like, even you, you can literally go around rushing people in helicopters, in motorbikes, it doesn't really matter, it can be full fat, it can be fast-paced action after fast-paced action if you really want to play a game like that. But you can also camp if you'd like to do that also. It's just re to me, it's just an overall better experience. And I'd urge everyone who plays PUBG Mobile or who plays any other mobile Battle Royale to try and Call of Duty Battle Royale and actually try to rank up. Don't just stay at the rookie or, or, or veteran or elite rank. Get to the master rank. Get to legendary. It's, I wouldn't say it's hard. I wouldn't say it's easy, but I, I, I'll, I'll say it's a grind and it's fun. So, yeah. Now, I've uninstalled Call of Duty Mobile now, so... Yeah, and I guess that's everything I plan to uninstall. So, with the social media out of the way, what else is there for me to do? Well, I'm gonna bring you all, actually. So... My room is in shambles right now, and I'm going to show y'all because I ain't scared. So this is my room at the moment. This is my bed, which has shirt and thumbs on it. Um, this is my laundry basket. I just, I've recently moved, by the way, so I'm sorry if this place doesn't look like something y'all are used to. But yeah, I moved for like the third time now within the last two years but yeah so these are so so the plan of action to tidy up this room is all of this stuff here it's a it's it's a wardrobe which i haven't set up just yet all of this so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set up the wardrobe um get some stuff or some of my clothes into the wardrobe kind of get my suitcases under the bed and enjoy my view so that's the plan of action at this very moment and then after that I'm gonna study because a nigga got school and you know, a nigga got university and shit so those are the plans to keep my thing my day busy I'll also try to edit this video and get it uploaded today 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 I have a class at 4 p.m. so I'm gonna try and get some stuff done it's currently shouldn't be past 9 a.m. 9.15 okay so I'm already kind of behind schedule so this is day one of monk mode hashtag well not hashtag at Tashan's adventure this is Russ Lunacy signing out I'll give you all an update on day 7 maybe or maybe day 3 I don't know I'll give you all an update and I want to give you all an update
bitch, start tripping now I'm blue. Mega man, I can't wait for losing.